This is a, what used to be a grapefruit and orange grove prior to the advent of greening, which destroyed it. And these are pongamia trees, which are on their fifth year. They're just probably the first year that they're going to uh, produce. Uses for the pongamia tree are primarily as a, an, a biofuel oil crop. It's about 30% of the weight of the bean is oil. It has one of the most dense energy per pound of refined oil that you can have. That's very important when you're flying. The, the more power you've got, the further you can go on the same weight. So in an airplane, that's a big deal. Also, there's really no good carbon substitute for the petroleum that you have to burn to power a jet. Pongamia could be that. It'd be a plant-based uh, oil that can do that. The 65 or 70 percent that's left over is primarily a, a pro very high quality protein that we, uh, we get through the rest of the chemistry and research on it will be used in making a baking flour, cooking, it makes great graham crackers. We've done a lot with those already. Um, but a whole, whole variety of things, almost any protein, it's an excellent substitute. We hope that we can transform the whole biofuel industry, that this will end up being the platform that is one of the dominant sources of uh, oil for biofuels in the future, as well as a substitute for soybean protein or yellow pea, which are a couple of the things that are now used for uh, protein alternatives if you don't want your protein to come from meat.